Hi, my name's Dan. I work for Youth for Christ as part of the resources team and I want to tell you about one of my favourite books in the Bible which you can find in the New Testament. It's called Philemon and it's a really short book. It's only one chapter long. You can read it anywhere really quickly and, and give yourself a pat on the back because you've finished a Bible book. Basically, it's a book about three characters. One is called Paul, one is called Anesimus and the other is the title of the book called Philemon. And the story is simple and goes like this. Philemon is, is, a, is a ruler, he's a rich guy, he has a lot of servants and one of his servants is Onesimus and Onesimus does a bad thing and steals from his master. Now the punishment for a servant who did that could be as severe as death so Onesimus decides to run away and on his running away he meets Paul who's in prison at the time and the book is about Paul writing a letter to Philemon saying would you take Onesimus back? I know he's done a bad thing but would you forgive him and restore him? A really simple story and one which might not seem that exciting and that relevant but actually the importance of this lies in the names of the character. Names in, in this culture are really important because they tell us a lot about who the character is. For example, Anesimus means one who might be useful. Paul means one who is small and is humble and Philemon means one who is love. So essentially what this story is about is one who is small and humble, Paul, appealing to one who is love, Philemon, for one who might be useful, Anesimus, to be set free. This is a remarkable picture of what the Christian faith is about. Jesus, when he was on earth, was small and humble. He appealed to God who is love, that we, his people, who, who might be useful, could be set free. And do you know the amazing thing? When people were deciding which books would go into the Bible, it was something called the canon of scripture. When they were deciding who was putting uh, the books in the Bible together and which ones were being left out, there was someone there called Anesimus who was involved in, in that process. Now we can't be sure uh, for certain, but, but it might just be that this same Anesimus we find in the story was involved in putting the scripture together. Anesimus, it's not a priest's name, it's the name of a servant, so it's crazy that, that someone called Anesimus would be there. But might it just be that Anesimus from this story, who was, who was useful but had sinned and was brought back to restoration, was involved in one of the greatest movements ever, putting the canon of scripture together.